Well, hello. Welcome once again to Stuff and Things Plays. I'm your good friend Bradley. This is our good friend Kevin. And today you find Kevin doing a little bit of experimentation. I was just trying to sort of see about building a longhouse. This isn't actually where I'm going to build a longhouse eventually because that's our normal base. I've just been chopping a ton of trees and fooling around doing some stuff. Get up there, Kevin. You could see trying out some decorative things, trying out some things with the wood on the roof and then trying to make it so I can have sort of trusses, but trusses that don't show through. So I'm, I'm just experimenting with building styles and things like that. But that's not the important thing right now. The important thing is that Kevin gets back to that Draugr village and destroys the doofuses there. We have done some things since last episode, uh, in addition to all the experimentation with the building. Actually, I'm going to get rid of all this wood right now because I don't need it. Let's get rid of that. Let's open this. Let's put this in here. Actually, I'm going to keep some wood uh, with me just in case. Uh, we're good otherwise. Now, you'll see here, I have a new banded shield with a snazzy blue design, and I also have an iron mace. Those are the only iron things I have made so far, um, and I figured they would give me a leg up against the Draugr. Let's see the shield, shall we? Ooh. Look at Kevin. Let's see the mace. Ah. Let's get Kevin in the light so we can actually see this. Uh, this way? Maybe? Ooh. Kevin is ready for battle. So now we're going to go and do battle. So let's run out. One thing that actually just occurred to me that I don't know why I never thought of before. I have portals. And I can't sail a boat through the portal, obviously, but I can destroy the boat and then take all the materials and go through the portal. So we have both of our boats here right now. And obviously, uh, let's eat some stuff. Obviously, I don't want to have to sail all the way back, but I don't have to, I don't think. One thing I'm wondering is if you destroy something. Oh, oh, here's another thing too. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I actually turned down the vegetation quality because I was trying to look for mushrooms and it actually helped me to actually see the mushrooms. So that's cool. There we go. We're back to normal. Um, anyway, I was wondering if you destroy something when it's not fully healed or, you know, if, if it's damaged, do you get all the materials back? I don't know, but we're going to find out. I'm going to get rid of these right now because they're encumbering me as I'm running around. Let's head out here. This is our other boat. Let's get the old hammer going. Okay, so these are both in pretty good shape. Now, if we destroy this, I should be able to reach everything here, right? Hopefully. Let's destroy it. Uh, let's do that. Why can't I destroy it? Why won't it let me destroy this? This is weird. Can't I destroy my boat? Uh, I can't destroy my boat. I don't know what's going on. Can I destroy this? Damn it. <laughs> yes. Why can't I destroy my boat? Oh, man. I thought this was a thing. I thought this is something I could do. Well, now, now I destroyed my little pier here. Uh, let's get this. Hopefully this will snap on, sort of. It's not going to snap on, sort of. Come on. What if I sit down? Uh, now will you snap on? The camera's lower. Const, darn it. My whole thing is just ruined now. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to put that there, as much as I don't like that right there. Uh, why can't I destroy the boat? Is there something in the boat? Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Hold on. No, it's empty. Uh, what's going on? Let me go forward a ways. We'll scrape it up onto the land. I know you can you can destroy your boat, can't you? Okay. Now let's get this going again. What the frick is going on? Carve does not need repairs. What the... I don't... 
Okay, what if I just put this here? Destroy. Oh, man. Can I destroy this boat? What is going on? Okay. Well, apparently that's not going to work. We are going to have to sail back to where we came from. Uh, I guess let's do that now. Damn it. so dark I can't see anything at all I may actually have to turn off the light that is shining in my face right now and making it so you can actually see me uh, is that a rock it is so dark at night that's a rock can I avoid the rock I think I may be avoiding the rock Oh boy. Okay. Okay. I think we're almost to the mouth of the river here. Hopefully we can get out into open water and be safe. Uh, I guess I'll call you if anything happens in the meantime. Man, I really thought I could destroy my boat. I don't understand why I couldn't. It doesn't make sense. Where are the rocks here? Okay, uh, I think we're almost out of the danger zone. We should be fine now. Hey. been a cold, wet, starless night. Very dark. The winds have turned foul, so we are on the oar. The rain is kicked up. The storm surge is surging. And uh, Kevin is not having a very good night here. I shouldn't sail at night. I don't know why I keep doing that. Oh my lord, the waves are very high. I'm very paranoid about the serpents now. Especially if I'm just under ore power, I can't outrun them, so I'm a little worried about that. We are on target to make our landfall at the Black Forest. Where our Black Forest base is. I still forgot to actually mark that base. I can't see anything. Where are the rocks that I usually moor at? Uh, are we in the right place? We should be pretty close. There's the swamp to our right. Okay, it's gotten a little bit less stormy. That is good. When's the moon coming out? I'm just going to keep eating because I don't know what's going to happen. I want to make sure Kevin has... Oh, here's the rain again. Damn it. I want to make sure Kevin has a reserve of uh, HP. I know I should just save my food for when I'm going to be fighting things. Oh, Lord above. Why does it always rain? It always rains. I think those are our rocks there, though. I can't get too close, though, or else it'll bash my boat against them. Okay, calm down, see? Ah! Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, see? Calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay. 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 That's close enough, Kevin. Don't get too close to the rocks. Here we go. Ah! Get up there. Get up there, Kevy. Get your little hamster out. Let's do some reparations. 
Uh, okay, okay. The boat's there. It is daylight. We're just going to wait a little bit until it gets a little bit lighter, and then we'll start sailing in that direction. I guess we could go. I just wanted to make sure I had the boat all fixed up in case there was a problem with it. I think we're okay. We are going to turn as sharply as possible to avoid the rocks. Oh, Lord. Okay. Here we go. Oh, there's a rock right there. There's a big old rock right there. You can't see it under the storm surge. Okay. We're just going to go by ore power for now. We're going to make our way to the sunny dale. I don't know if that's actually qualifies as a dale. The sunny clearing filled with Draugr. We're going to clear it out. And I'm thinking that might be where we want to build our amazing, stupendous base. Because it's so close to all these other biomes. Uh-oh, I think I'm going to scrape bottom here. Uh, uh, oh, Kevin, careful now. Okay, I think we're good. Hey, look, there's some Draugr right there. How you doing, Draugr? Jerks. Okay, so we're heading down here. Bada bing. And we've also got a little makeshift shelter down there, so that is good. Let's just keep going. We still have no wind. We are sailing, or oaring, directly into the wind. We want to stay away from the swampy shore as much as possible. Ooh. Okay, there's one right down there. <laughs> there are just Draugr walking along the bottom of this channel. And it's kind of ridiculous. Okay. It looks like maybe it's going to clear up once we get out of the swampy area. So I will call you when we get there. Okay, I think I see my rock in the distance there. I see some Draugr milling about, but now we have a banded shield and an iron mace. It's only a level two iron mace, but it's still an iron mace. And it's pretty powerful. <sighs> okay, I think we're gonna be fine. We will steer for our rock. We will weigh anchor, or no, weighing anchor means pulling up the anchor. We will drop anchor. We'll go in and get dry, do a little rest by our fire throw some wood on the fire if we need it. Okay. Okay. We're here, gang. Who's out there? Who's out there? Go, Kevin. Go get dry, boy. Okay, you're, you're walking along the bottom of the ocean. Okay. I would love it if the rain would stop. Oh, no, we've got a hole in the roof. Damn it. I do have a thing. Uh, let's see if we can fix some of this here. Uh, let's go with that. I guess we'll break that. And we'll throw this right there. And then we'll get... Actually, we won't have anywhere for the smoke to go if we do that. Hmm. Damn it, why does it always rain? It always rains. <sighs> Let's go with this. Okay, now we're going to get smoked out here. I guess it's open enough that we'll probably be okay. Hopefully. Let's all sit down by the old fire. Dry off a little bit under the eaves. And hopefully the storm will pass and we can fight the Draugr. Okay. It looks like the rain has stopped. Arm yourself, Kevin. Why can't I walk right now? What the heck's going on? Why am I so slow? Am I that encumbered? All right, I, I guess we're fine. That was weird. What, why are these neck out? Oh, I don't have time for you. 
stupid neck. Okay. This is the big one. This is where all the creeps are hanging out. We've got to take them out. Come on in, boys. Two-star Draugr Elite. <laughs> he can't get out of the house. Okay, I can't hit him through there. This Draugr will not come out, which is irritating. Okay, I got him a little bit. <laughs> Didn't do that much. <sighs> Can I even go in there? I need to take out the body pile. Here comes another one. Got the body pile. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good. This Draugr only has one arm. Oh, it didn't block it all. I thought it would block it all. It didn't block it all. I thought it would block it all. It did not block it all. Kevin, retreat for a moment. Okay, we don't have to worry about any other Draugr coming in. Kevin will top up his food and we will take out the Draugr Elite once my health goes up a little bit more. Man, I thought I would have enough block power to take one of his hits. Ah, ah, what is my block power right now? It, ah! <laughs> it is uh, 60 or 64 with my block skill. Man, I thought that would be enough. Whoa. Why didn't I bring any damn healing potion? That was the stupidest thing I could have done. My health slowly ticking up. Is it? Health, please, quickly. Oh, oh, oh Lord. <laughs> He's slowly dismantling the house. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, this could work out. This could work out for our benefit. We can do this. Come on, Draugr. Come on. Come in here. I mean, out here. Or near here. Or something. What are you doing? Look at this big sloppy butt. Come here. Strike at me, please. Oh, freaking out loud. Did not block everything. Okay, okay, Kevin, look at you with your mace. How is your club skill, by the way? 23. Blocking is only at 12. Okay. Oh, Lord, okay, we did it. We did it, gang. Well, we did one of them. Let's take this. For posterity. All right, so we have cleared out many of these houses. We still have to clear out that one. Let's see what's going on in here. I think we did this one. We did. Okay. We did this one, we did this one, we did this one. I think we did this one too, didn't we? No, we did not. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. I don't know if there's an elite in here. It does not seem to be a door. Aha! You are dead, boy. Give me your entrails. Okay, this is good. I don't see a chest or anything. Oh, there is a door. Man, I just couldn't see it because of the lighting. Is there anybody in here? No, we already did that one. Okay. I think that's everything, except for the old big house. Soon this glade will be Kevin Kevinson's. We will claim it for the Kevinson clan. Okay, and that's our little house. All right, let's take a look inside here and see what's going on. We could be really crafty here. How much wood do we have? 15? Let's be really crafty here. Let's make a damn crafting bench. Or a workbench, whatever the hell you want to call it. Let's put it uh, somewhere where it will stay. Ah! Okay, that's a deer. <laughs> uh, where will it sit? Can it sit somewhere? I guess it could sort of sit there. Is that close enough? Maybe. Okay. Ugh. Come on, Kevin. Ugh. There you go. Ugh. Now look what Kevin has up his sleeve. Bam, 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 
Bam, bam, bam, bam, bam, bam, bam, bam, bam, bam, bam, bam, bam. Aha! I can't see anybody. All right, let's get the old bow out and see if we can see anything. There's the body pile. If we can take out the body pile, that would be fantastic. Then we don't have to worry about them respawning in there. Oh no, I wanted to keep one body pile, didn't I? You know what? Hmm, <laughs> now that I think about it, maybe we want this. Maybe we want to keep this house as the Draugr house. Hmm. Because then we have access to entrails all the time and it's not in the swamp. I don't want to have to go into the swamp because the swamp sucks. Hello, come get me, I am Kevin. Give me a woods. Are they stuck over there? Why won't they come down? Oh look, there's a hearth here. That's cool. Let's clear this stuff out. I can't clear out the hearth. Missing required. Oh, maybe I need the w the stone cutter to do that? Okay, that's fine. So right now they're not letting me get close to these dudes or they're not letting them get close to me. Okay, and there is a beehive in here too, I think. I hear bees. Where's the beehive? I don't see it. Oh, maybe it's just the body pile. Okay, never mind. All right, uh, let's see what the old bow does. Of course, as soon as I shoot one of them, another one will spawn. Hopefully it's not another elite. Hey. Okay. Give me your entrails. Give me your entrails. Hey, quit move. Oh, okay. This guy spawned more closely to where I am. Hello. Okay, I can take his hit. Fine. Oh, never mind. Ah, I have no stamina. Okay. Okay. That, that actually kind of hurts. Oh lord, okay. So one star Draugr can still knock me over. Uh, let's close that. Another Draugr will spawn inside. And I guess in the future, let's open it up again. Okay, that's just a normal Draugr. He's not coming over here though, which is irritating. Jump, Kevin. I would like to get the entrails that I claimed earlier. Why won't it hit the Draugr, for God's sake? I'm, I don't want to heal the, kill the body pile. <sighs> I really need to take the stupid elite out. That other Draugr is a bow Draugr, though. Nope. There we go. Ow. Okay, I got that one. Are we going with another elite? I just want more entrails. Give me more entrails. Okay, now we go. Now we leave. Now we close the door. Okay, uh, gang, I would call out. Oh, <laughs> I would call that a success. We have cleared out the evil glade filled with evil Draugr, except for, you know, big head honcho Draugr's house here. We may leave that for now. We may sort of dismantle some of this and build a little cage where we can funnel them in. I know, you know, I'm thinking in Minecraft terms where you would find a skeleton spawner or something like that and create kind of a grinder for them to fall into and die. We could maybe do something like that here. And then we could possibly... Hello, dear. What are you doing? We could possibly create an amazing base here, clear most of this stuff out, get all the wood from it and everything. Just start dismantling it, maybe level the terrain a little bit, and we could have an awesome base. Maybe build out onto these rocks a little bit, and we'd be so close to all sorts of other biomes. It would be freaking awesome, man. We'll build a portal here. We can, we can put down roots. Kevin can finally have a place to call home. It's not the nicest scenery out the front window or anything, but 
The other thing that I noticed, let's look at our map here. It looks like we have mountains over here. Are those mountains? I'm not sure. But if so, that's another biome. And then it's close to this biome, which we still haven't gone to. We will do that soon. We'll check it out. But I would call this a success. Before we close the episode, let's just set up... How much wood do I have? We have plenty of wood. Let's just set up a few little workstations around. I do not feel rested anymore, but I feel confident and secure. Wow. <laughs> that mace is doing the trick. Um, okay. So let's set up a workbench here. And let's just start breaking this stuff down. We'll get some of the wood from it, I think. Yes. Maybe I should repair this first, though, and then I think I get more wood. Okay, so it's all repaired. And then we don't want to repair. We just want to break. Maybe. Maybe that's good. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but that's the what that's what I'm gonna do. Uh okay, repair. Repair, repair, repair everything. Cause we can use most of this reclaimed wood to actually build with. Okay, running out of stamina. Kevin is quite the DIY expert here, just repairing every little thing he sees. Okay, let's get that stamina back, Kevin. Okay. Okay, this is gonna work, gang. This is gonna be fantastic. Okay, now just start chopping it down. Chop it. Chop it. Getting dark, but yeah, this is gonna be fantastic because we have a bunch of wood. We have a pretty nice, fairly flat area that we can build up. We'll do something with that. We'll create like a little Draugr spawner or something. We can farm them for entrails. We will have an inexhaustible supply of sausages. And we'll be ready to take on the rest of this game. But we'll do that in the next episode of Stuff That Things Plays. Until next time, tell me to get late. I'll see you later. Get some rest, Kevin. You've earned it. <laughs>